Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're doing a product review video on a wax versus a polymer sealant versus a ceramic coating. We're going to be talking about which product you should be using on your boat for maintenance, which is the best in terms of price, how to apply the longevity. It's all coming to you right now. So sit back and relax. We're going to jump into the video right now. So the first product we're going to be talking about today is our Colonite Fiberglass 925 Marine Wax. In terms of wax, Colonite is one of the best waxes that you can use in the marine industry for your boat. So we have this wax, and then we also have, if you want a little bit more durability, we have our Colonite Fiberglass Fleet Wax. You can get both of these products on Amazon. You can get them from West Marine, or you can get them from any detailer store you know most of these carry colonite because it's one of the best in the industry and before we get started on talking about colonite i just want to mention that you should never use a cleaner wax on your boat cleaner wax are marketed as a good product they're marketed as an easy to maintenance product but guys these are horrible number one they contain a lot of cleaning agents they contain oils which are in polishes and they contain a little tiny amount of wax which is not going to last very long on your boat. So avoid the cleaner waxes. Don't use them on your boat. You're going to get about two to three weeks max out of these products. It is not worth the money. It's not worth all the time that you're putting in. Never use a cleaner wax. So back to Colonite. We're going to talk about pricing first. How much does Colonite cost? Well, if you go on Amazon, you can buy Colonite for $18.99. You can buy their fleet wax for, I think, maybe it's like $21.99. But guys, these are fairly cheap products for maintaining your boat. You can do your whole boat with just this bottle and you're still gonna have like probably at least half left over. So you can get a few years out of one bottle of wax on your boat. Now you wanna put it on thin, right? There's no reason to put, there's no reason to put a ton of wax on your, onto your boat because at the end of the day, you're letting it dry and you're wiping the product off. So there's no reason to put a lot on because it's not staying on your boat anyways. People have this misconception that the thicker you apply the wax, the more wax that's, you know, the longer your boat's gonna last not true because you're wiping the product off regardless so it doesn't matter you just want to make sure you cover nice thin evenly um layer onto your boat and it's going to be perfect you're going to be in good shape so how to apply well it's pretty simple there are two ways you can apply you can apply it by hand or you can apply it with a polisher so if you're going to apply it with a polisher get a foam polishing pad put the product on the pad and then buff it onto the boat um and then if you're going to apply it by hand obviously put it on the applicator it on the boat by hand and either way you got to wait for this product to haze over there's no specific time period that you have to wait you just kind of have to watch um wax is super easy to work with so if you let it dry too long or if you don't let it dry enough it's not it's not the end of the world but just kind of wait kind of watch five ten minutes um maybe even 15 you know it really depends on the temperature it depends if you're in direct sunlight just kind of watch wait for it to haze over and then wipe it off with a microfiber towel so longevity out of all these products wax is going to be the least in terms of longevity so if you're in the great lakes if you're up here up north you can get away with using wax on your haul and it'll last the whole year down south not gonna happen i would actually shy you away from using a wax at all on your boat but up here on the great lakes you can get away with applying this on your haul for the whole season but on the top side you will have to reapply this product about you know one to two times throughout the season if you want to maintain that shine if you don't want your boat to get oxidized this will have to be reapplied 100% throughout the season. In Florida, you're going to have to apply it multiple times throughout the season. So that's why I really would prefer that you don't use a wax if you're in Florida or maybe even California. But up here, a wax is fine. A lot of people use wax. You just got to, you know, if you like to apply products to your boat, then go with the wax. If you love, um, you know, if you love having something to do on a Saturday every month, then, then go ahead, go with the wax. And there's no problem with that. Or if you don't mind paying a detailer to come out and do it, then do that as well. But I really think that wax is kind of becoming a little bit outdated. I think there are better products on the market, especially when you look at this polymer sealant and you look at these ceramic coatings. So that is Colonite for you. Price, pretty cheap. Apply, pretty easy. It's really easy to work. And the longevity is really not that long. So that is Colonite. And let's move on to our polymer sealant right now. Okay, so our polymer sealant. In terms of product, what do we have here? This is called Jescar Power Lock Plus. It's a polymer sealant that has a deep gloss finish. This product right here 
in terms of pricing, you're looking at about $34. So it is a little more pricey than the wax, but I recommend that you would go with this over a wax any day. So it's worth the extra few bucks. Again, you're gonna get a few years out of this bottle if you're using it on your boat. Uh, you know, depending on the size, of course. Um, some other products that we've used in the past, and we've used rejects in the past. Okay, both of these are very versatile. You can use these on cars, you can use these on fiberglass, you can use them on paint, you can use them on RVs, you can use them on airplanes. Very versatile, very shiny products, easy to work with. And then a new one that we have right here, which we're going to be trying. We haven't tried yet, but we're going to try this one. It's called Stark. This one's specifically made for fiberglass and marine paints only. So if I had to guess, if you're going to do your boat, this might be the best one. But again, I haven't tried it out. We haven't tested it. So that is to come in the future. But from what I've used so far, these products, these two right here are very good. They definitely last longer than wax. So how to apply these products? It's again, very simple. You can apply with a foam pad. You put on the foam, foam pad, you apply it with the buffer. You're gonna let it sit. Now with these products, you wanna let these sit longer than wax. These need time to dry. You wanna wait at least a half hour, at least a half hour before you wipe them off. Sometimes we'll even wait two hours. If we're not in direct sunlight, if it's not too hot out, we're gonna wait longer to actually wipe these products off. So again, very simple to apply. Anybody can do these. Uh, longevity wise, we're talking about six months. You know, if you're up here off the Great Lakes, you can get about six months out of these products before your boat's gonna start becoming oxidized once again. So I recommend that you apply these you do one or two coats of SiO2 coating, which if you don't know what that is, it's gonna bond to the polymer sealant and it's gonna water bead and it's gonna be extra, it's like a ceramic coating. It's like a off ceramic coating. It's gonna provide that extra protection just enough to get you through the season. So if you do that combined with this, you're gonna be in good shape. It's gonna be very cost effective, gonna be cheap. It's gonna be very easy to maintain your boat. If you're in Florida, you can probably, you're probably only gonna get you know, four, four to five months out of these products. But again, still pretty good. You know, make sure you're applying your SiO2 coatings. You know, anything you can do to extend the life of the product that you're using always helps. And these SiO2 coatings are very cheap. They're effective, they're easy to use. You just look, look one up on Amazon, find one that works for your industry and purchase it and use it. It's gonna help, you know, maintain your boat. So again, great products, pricing, it's not too bad. Apply, again, very easy to apply. You just have to wait longer um, before you wipe it off. Then a wax and the longevity, you know, you're getting a much better bang for your buck in my opinion. The longevity is much better in these products. They last longer, but these are more toxic. Now, when you're applying these, I would recommend that you wear gloves because if you don't, they're gonna irritate your hands. I've applied rejects without wearing gloves. This stuff really irritates my hands a lot and it, they really get itchy. It's just not really that safe to use when when you're touching it with your bare skin. This product, I haven't really noticed it to be as toxic, but again, always take pre preventative measures and you know, if you have to wear a face mask, if you have to wear gloves, go ahead and do it because it's gonna help. So, so this is an overview of our polymers. I think they're a little better than wax and they're very simple to use. So now let's go ahead and jump into our ceramics. So in terms of products, what do we have right here? So we have our Stark Yacht Surface Technologies, which is the same brand as this polymer sealant that we're gonna test out. This is our ceramics that we're using in this video. We have our Repel Pro and we have Liquid Thor. Now these are, this is a product we're gonna be using on an upcoming project here soon. And in terms of ceramics, these are some of the best ones that you can get your hands on without actually being certified. So you have some companies that will require certification for you to actually buy these products. And the reason for that is number one, these are super toxic. And number two, if you don't apply them correctly, you can actually damage your boat. You can actually waste a lot of money into the products. So in one of those is called Ceramic Pro and the other one is IGL. These are both marine ceramics that you have to become certified in you know basically you have to be you have to be a professional detailer to get your hands on those products these are nice because the average person can buy them but they're also very high quality 
So, the, you know, you have this. You also have a few other companies. You have Glideco, which is based out of Florida, and you have Sea Shield, which is based out of California. Those are the three companies I would recommend if you're going to do this yourself as a boat owner or just maybe a detailer who, you know, is very new to the industry. If you're going to use a ceramic, go with one of those three companies. But anyways, in terms of pricing, how much do these cost? So this costs about 200 bucks per bottle. This is 100 milliliters. The difference between this and these products is you can get about one coat of this on. Since it's 100 milliliters, you can get about a 40 foot boat. You can do one coat with this whole bottle. So you're not going to be able to use this year after year like you can with some of these products. This will get all taken up. So by the time you're done with your boat, because this is a two-step process, we have our Repel Pro and our Liquid Thor. It's going to cost you about four to five hundred bucks to apply if you have a 40 foot or under boat. So how these products work and what they do. So Repel Pro is a true 9H hardness, which is right here. It's a true 9H hardness. This is the first coat you're going to put on your boat. So if you get any parts of your boat that are, you know, more apt to scratch up, more apt for sunlight, more weathering, you want to use this coat because this is going to, you know, eliminate all that stuff. So if your boat's banging up against other things, it's scratching, you know, you have a hard time docking your boat. When these scratches get on your boat, they're not actually going to scratch your gel coat or your paint. They're going to scratch the ceramic. Whereas if you're using a wax or a sealant, there is no hardness in these products. So it's going to go right through these sealants and these waxes and it's going to scratch your boat. But this will stop it from doing that. So that's why you'd that's why you'd use a ceramic over something like this because you have that true 9H hardness is basically a permanent barrier between your paint or your gel coat and the outside um, you know world. This right here is a ceramic SiO2 coating or TiO2 coating which is going to water bead your boat like crazy. It's going to keep all the water from staying on your boat. So this will eliminate water marks. This is a great product again for UV protection for for preventing oxidation. You're going to put this on first, you're going to put this on second, and you guys, you're going to be good for a long time. These products will last anywhere from 12 to 24 months before you have to reapply. And it's very simple. When you reapply these products, this is the permanent barrier that stays on your boat. So all you're doing is you're polishing your boat to kind of get a nice clean surface. And then all you have to do every single year after this is on the boat is just reapply this product. It's that simple. This is our SiO2 coating, our top dressing. Um, and again, you can use any of these products separately, but when you're combining them together, it creates for the best results. So that's what we're going to be doing on our future upcoming job. If you stay tuned, you'll get to see that on YouTube. You'll get to see exactly how we do it. But when you're using these products, you want to make sure that the condition of the fiberglass or the marine paint is in perfect shape because if it's not, these products won't stick to the surface. This is actually why some companies make you become certified to use these because if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not a good detailer, if you can't, if you don't remove all the oxidation, these, you know, these products aren't going to work and you're going to waste a lot of money. So if you're not a professional detailer or you don't really know what you're doing, I would, first of all, shy you away from these products or I would encourage you to get help from a professional detailer or a sales rep from one of these companies that you're using. That's the best way to go about it. How to apply, these are very different in terms of application than these waxes and sealants. You have to apply them with an applicator. So you put, you get the applicator, you put the dots on and you do a section. This product here is not very user friendly. You can only do about, you know, maybe a three by three. You can only do little sections of your boat. And then you have to wait one to two minutes and you want to wipe it off instantly. Get everything off or else this stuff will stick and it will be super challenging to get off the boat. This one, the liquid door, it's more, it's more friendly. Again, it's an SiO2 coating. It's not a true ceramic. So this is actually easier to get off the boat. You can apply the whole haul. You come back, you can take it off and you're going to have no worries. So those are the two products, guys. I hope this was helpful. Now, we didn't talk about, yeah, we did talk, we touched on longevity. These will last about 12 to 24 months, depending on where you're at. If you're in Florida, obviously it's closer to 12. If you're in the Great Lakes, you know, it can be closer to that 20 month range. So 
um, application again is a little more tougher than these products but all these products are great they all have a purpose and it really depends on how much work you want to put into your boat you know are you super serious about your boat are you not as serious do you like to work on your boat do you not like to work on your boat or if you're hiring a professional detailer and you have money you know why not go with the best which it would be the ceramics so if i'm going to do if we're going to talk about which product i would recommend just as an average boat owner an average detailer you just want you want a good you want to get the biggest bang for your buck but you don't want to spend a fortune and you just kind of want the best overall results i'm going to have to recommend the polymer sealant guys you can't go wrong with the polymer sealant um just simply one of the best out there it's cheap it's effective it works it lasts if you maintain your boat it will last it provides shine it provides protection just a great overall product so guys if this video was helpful leave it a like Drop a comment below and be sure to hit the bell notification and be sure if you haven't to subscribe because every single week I will be coming out with a new video to help you guys if you're a boat owner, if you're a detailer. We're all going to be learning. I'm going to keep learning. You're going to keep learning and it's going to be fun. So guys, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.